Gold prices taking a rest from the recent sell-off we've seen. The three-day range in gold is 1959 all the way down to 1861. That's the range from Thursday and Friday. Today we actually saw a boss little uptick up to 1865. So while we didn't see a magical move higher back to the highs or at least back to where we started the sell-off, we stopped seeing the pressure move to the downside. Today, the, a lot of this was fueled last week from the dollar, from the strong non-farm payroll number, as well as some hawkish comments after the FOMC meeting. But clearly, the market now in wait and see mode, as we did not see that sell-off continue, despite the fact that the dollar was stronger today, despite the fact that we saw Treasury yields moving aggressively higher today, sort of uh, waiting for that next catalyst event, which we will talk about perhaps uh, that's coming in a moment. Now, what does this all mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you'll notice that volatility did move higher to end the week last week, but we didn't see much of a move today, maybe a little bit higher as prices stopped going down. So as prices were declining at a rapid pace, we saw volatility moving higher. As prices slowed the descent, we saw volatility nudge higher just slightly, but clearly right now waiting for that next catalyst event. And what could it be? Well, looking ahead to tomorrow, it's all eyes will be focused on the Federal Reserve Chairman who will be speaking from Washington, DC. Uh, perhaps a chance for him to comment not only on the recent rate hikes from the Fed and other central banks, perhaps he'll talk about the, uh, the stronger than expected non-farm payroll number on Friday or the increase in volatility we've seen across all asset classes, metals not excluded. So. I think at this point, the market will wait to hear what the Fed chairman has to say, maybe about potential rate hikes down the road, about potential market conditions that he's seeing. And that is one of the reasons perhaps why gold slowed its sell-off like we saw today. So gold prices open up the week, hovering near last week's low, but didn't see an extension like we did in other asset classes as the market awaits tomorrow's FOMC, excuse me, awaits tomorrow's Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, who'll be speaking in the morning.